What's up, Dynasty? Welcome back. My name is Ramses Tovar, and if you don't already know, this is Pharaoh Fitness. I realized in the last vlog, we forgot to do the intro. So, Teeny, you know what to do. Bam! Make way for the king! Okay, we're doing this the old school way, you know, just me on the camera today because uh, Jacob's kind of busy with his knee. He's got like some knee issues he needs to get figured out. Um, he might have to do surgery, he might not, so like, yo, best of luck to my boy. But hey, it's all good, bro. It's all good. Um, you know, we can, we can roll on our own this time. We'll go lone wolf style like we used to, right? I'm getting ready because I'm about to head out in like literally an hour and a half to go do a podcast. My very first, well, second podcast, second podcast. My first one was with my boy, uh... Pocky, Pocky Yoni. Y'all go check him out on YouTube. I'll tag him somewhere here. But I did a podcast with him like months ago. Anyway, so my second podcast now with my boy, Jay's Physique. That man is like probably the biggest influencer at my gym, bro. And it's like, yo, that's motivating. Cause like, I, I met bro, I didn't even know he was like an influencer. And then like we were talking, he was like, oh yeah, I got a fitness page. And I, I was like, yo, holy fuck, you got like, I think at the time he had like maybe uh, almost 100K. I can't remember. But anyway, yeah. And I was like, dude, you're fucking killing it, man. Like my man's like, he's been building up an audience, bro. So it's like super inspiring and motivating to be around a person like that. And I mean, he's again, besides the whole like numbers and followers, like overall that dude's a dope ass person, super chill, very knowledgeable. Like I definitely, I think um, being within a circle is gonna help me grow a lot. And I mean, hey, obviously I wanna be able to offer something to him. So if, if it's not growth, maybe my, uh, my energy, you know, can pass on to his audience as well. I don't know, they'll mix in together. I'm excited, like I said, cause uh, this is like, I think the first podcast episode for his podcast, Tough Talk. But yeah, so he's like, yo, I'm gonna have you as a guest, you know, first time appearance, maybe as a co-host. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let me get ready, bro. <laughs> because I'm fucking hyped, bro. I'm not even cracked off the pre yet. Like, I drank coffee today, but I haven't taken my pre yet. So wait till you motherfuckers see me with some pre in my system and you'll know. You'll know what a real fucking monster is. Big ass bowl of yogurt. Mm. Come here, guys. Come here. No, no, go back. Come get the banana. There he is. There he is. Here, you get the other half of the banana. Night. Come here, night. Get the banana. Good boy. I got a pretty. I got a pretty early today. Sometime around 7 a.m., bro. Um, I think with the whole idea of going into 2023, you know, setting goals for ourselves, trying to be more proactive, more organized. So my goal this first month, really in terms of like taking care of myself and organization, is just getting up earlier. I've been getting up around 8 a.m. for the past like two weeks for the most part. You know, I can't say it's been like that every day, but for the most part, right? But my main goal has been to get up around 7 a.m. I feel like for me, that's like the most optimal time to just like get up, have a little bit of time to myself, and then start my day, get shit done, all that stuff, bro. It's different for everybody. Like, I know there's the whole, like, 5 a.m., like, getting up at 5 a.m. thing, and it's like, hey, bro, if you do that, mad respect, mad respect, but, like, that's not for everybody. You don't have to do that, bro. Like, your circadian rhythm, all that stuff, it, it's different for, for everybody. But anyway, 2023, bro, I know in the last video, 
in the outro, I was talking about just like being more consistent and being able to put out more content now that I have an editor. With that said, bro, I got a whole list of goals lined up, things that I want to do, achievements I want to accomplish, things that I want to offer to you guys that would make your make it worthwhile to watch my channel, to support my journey, support my cause, all that. I think what I was trying to say is like, I want to offer to you guys more value, right? And I've been talking to Teeny about this. I've been talking to William about this. I maneuver these ideas with them, you know? I'm not just like thinking something and then just going out and doing it by myself. I like getting that extra consultation. Cause like, again, if you have people in your circle who want the best for you, are trying to look out for you and help you out, bro, talk with them, give them your ideas, share it with them, get some feedback. Anyway though, I've just been thinking to myself, like I've been posting a lot of like funny content on my IG and TikTok and I know it, get, it gets engagement, but I really want to give people more, more value, more substance than just me being goofy. It's only like 50% of who I am, bro. The other 50% is like the more real shit bro the more me just like hey talking to the camera by myself filming and spewing out my thoughts or vlogging and even when i'm being goofy it's like at least y'all get to see me in like real time see who i am of course i mean on the camera i have to amp it up just a little bit to give y'all a little bit more entertainment but like at the same time bro like i'm still being myself at the core and that's what i feel like the whole idea behind these vlogs is like i want to be able to like capture my journey capture the growth of the channel you know you guys are are here with me so we're growing together bro we're growing this channel together we're on this journey together and we'll just see where it takes us this is like this is it bro like i gotta go all out and give it everything i got bro again i want to give y'all my all let y'all know that i'm giving you my all and like yeah bro just take it all the way to the top because like if you want to do anything in life man you just got to go full throttle with it there's no holding back you can't like you can't give 75 percent 50 25 and expect 100 back you can't do that that's not how it works y'all ever seen full metal alchemist bro the law of equivalent exchange you give 100 bro you get 100 back that's the way it works what's up boss man say hi to the camera real quick got the whole setup yeah, they look man. good yeah, man. So you're Portuguese. Yeah. Gotcha. I figured you were like mixed with some sort of Hispanic. Yeah, I was born in Sayadiam, down in Brazil. Yeah. So, I mean, they speak Portuguese there, but they also speak English. So, gotcha. When I came here, I just kind of spoke English with my parents. That's tight. But you bro. know, the music is just the vibe. It's it is, too, though, man. Real. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to get in tune with that shit. Like, you can't lose, like, your roots, you know? Right, absolutely. I mean, as long as you have some culture and you have something specific to you, that's yeah. what's really important. Yeah, I'm kind of meaning myself so like I, I get it you know just coming here and then like becoming pretty much westernized but then it's like right you grew up and you're like yo I, I got a culture that i came from bro I gotta exactly i want to be in the roots of that exactly being in western culture i will say any other culture is honestly amazing yeah in my yeah. opinion learning something about any other culture is great my biggest thing mm -hmm. is i always kind of touch on the hospitality of each culture because i've always yeah. realized that western culture everybody here is very judgmental <laughs> and yeah. uh, hostile <laughs> right as fuck. everybody's after each other all, all the, the time like things man y'all just need to be together if you ban together you're much stronger than you know if you're just being a dick or looking for something wrong with everybody that's right you're not getting anything out of it hello where are you at i am editing oh you should throw me the keys bro you decided to show up yeah finally what a day to be alive isn't it it is it is a day <laughs> yeah. it's a great day to be alive bring your ass yeah <laughs> Try to hit me in the nuts. All right, now we can properly introduce you. We couldn't even see you in the frame. There we go, everyone. David. How we doing? Yes, sir. That's yo. Why, yo. It's man. It's just like Black David Laid. And he got the clipboard. I don't know what it's called, but. There you go. Yo. <laughs> I was like, you know what? This is my last year. If I play football, nobody's going to remember that I fucked uh, up. So why not do it? I played football. 
everybody started talking to me. Everybody wanted to be my friend. Everybody was like, oh, you play football, da, da, da. And I was like, y'all are fake as fuck. Switch up so quick, bro. So quick. That's when I really realized that people are not shit. Mm -hmm. And I guess that I kind of had, um, I kind of felt that beforehand. I I don't even know if I would call myself an introvert or not, but I guess Mm -hmm. that I am. But I just never really fuck with people. And once I realized that, it's like, that's when I really was like, Fuck trying to fit in. Fuck trying to be fake. I'm never doing this. Shit. I'm just gonna do what I want to do. Yeah. And that's really what we're trying to teach young yeah. men on how to do and just be happy. Yeah. You know? Like honestly. I think the whole main thing about just when you finally made that conclusion of like you know what fuck it I'm gonna be me is you gotta realize like no matter what you do people will hate you or people will love you bro. Right. Or I mean both they'll do both people will hate there'll be people that hate you and people that love you and you just gotta be able to accept that and embrace it bro. They are going to do both. I mean, yeah. it doesn't matter how positive or good your message right. is. People are still going to go against it. <laughs> Literally, I could sit here and be like, yo, I support puppies not dying. Somebody feel like, no, fuck that, bro. Puppies right. got to die. <laughs> They're going to be like, fuck that. There's too many puppies. They need to die. I'm like, yo, come on. Chillax, man. Right. Ooh, Ooh, baby. baby. <laughs> it's fucking 40 degrees in this bitch, baby. <laughs> fucking boss, man. Right here, man. Nipples are hard and focus <laughs> is on. I'm not cold. <laughs> Damn. I can only imagine, bro. <laughs> Chicken head. There he goes. Where you start, my boy? Shoot, I normally would do squats, but like, I'm gonna run your program today. Whatever you guys are doing. Ooh, okay, okay. Hey, you're not gonna switch it up when I'm out here with the homies, man. You're gonna love it, my boy. What's good, bro? How you doing, man? 415. I know, bro. I'm fucking three. late. <laughs> No, I'm talking about I hit 415 for three oh, on shit. that list, bro. Let's fucking go, dog. Easy, easy, bro. Who is that? Easy, man. Who the fuck is oh that? Yeah. Jesus Yo, got Christ, on? bro. It's me. Jump in that. Jump in that, bitch. Jump in that. Jump in that fire. Jump in that, bitch. Hitting that fire. Jump in that whip. Jump in that, bitch. I'll do a couple of quad stretches real quick, but... I'm feeling good, bro. I'm feeling good. The, I told you the priest in my system, bro. I'm fucking ready for this shit. Take him to the potty. He's a nerd. Bow, bow. I ain't seen niggas hit corners in the motherfucking birds. Bow, bow. Done politicking with the competition. What's the word? Put that on my mama, nigga. Eight in the process. Nigga trying to tippy toe through the progress. Tongue tied when the truth is an object. What's the pros and the cons of this next check? Wasn't nobody round, I was independent. In the 97 bomb with the windows tinted. Heard a bomb, got a strap in the party. Who the fuck like this in the party? Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Mama had to cater for the coop that we rode at the school on the way to Popeyes. And niggas wanna play both sides. Just a red dot, don't get on the wrong red eye. It's a headshot, they can't woo them guys. Fuck around and bag two of them guys. I'm OD in Paris, I'm OD in France. I thought that I told you I need the advance. Hey, workout is going good though. I'm gonna tell you that much. I have not been this hype over a workout. I don't wanna say in ages. Maybe just like in a couple of days. Look at my boy Jayco, bro. Look at my boy Jayco. Love you. I respect them, where did he begin? Advice from the council, let nobody in. Talk yourself off the, uh, so that your legs end up being completely straight at the end. Yeah. Try and flatten out your body. So bring your ass a little bit more forward, flush with your body. Okay. Up. There you go. Exactly, there you go. Okay. Hold it right there. Feel it right up the head. God, yeah. Beautiful. Ah. Uh-huh. Come on. Come on. Give me a second squeeze. Oh, one. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Let it go. Oh, fuck. Oh. Woo. Oh, my God. All right, so we've officially made it to Panda Kitchen, Panda Express. I don't even know. My brain's not working anymore. Um, I'm freaking starving. So, yeah, this is what we got going on. We're going to eat real quick. And uh, Jay said head back to David's house. So, yeah, it's literally it, bro. Anyway, that's enough. My brain's done. My brain is done. Yo, so I'd be lying right now if I said I was not tired because 
I fucking am. I am freaking exhausted. That was like one of the sickest leg workouts I've ever had. Jay and David both got me to like really push myself, try new stuff out, and just go beyond my limits, man. And uh, not only am I tired from the workout, just the overall day, bro. Just like between podcasting, filming, and just hanging out, like done a lot today, man. And I'm not complaining at all, bro. I'm not complaining at all. Like I've had a great time. Once again, shout out to Jay. Shout out to David. Shout out to to Jay for like letting me hop on his podcast, giving me time to like go hang out with him and film stuff and to david for like welcoming me into his home and uh allowing us to use his equipment use his facilities yeah man i had a great time bro so big shout out to both y'all man i think going into the remainder of this year bro i just i want to do more collabs with people man i really want to do more collabs show y'all what the fitness industry is truly about the authenticity genuineness and just trying to spread each other everybody's message bro like me and jay were just talking about like yo i don't care how many followers you got like it's all about just like if you got a cool message cool i fuck with you and like that's the vibe bro that's the vibe and i feel like i can learn a lot from jay i can learn a lot from him and just like we'll learn a lot from each other bro so you know keep your keep your connections close keep your friends close treat people like family um we'll definitely we'll definitely do some uh deadlifts soon do something outside of leg workouts because we've been doing that for a minute i know we have <laughs> well yeah yeah no literally like the last vlog was a leg day the vlog before that was the uh end of the year pr for the squats we've been doing a lot of legs i know you guys are getting tired of that leg day is my favorite day but i know you guys want to see more stuff so i got you bro but hey that's a wrap next video i want to do some deadlifting for sure if not something else maybe benching anyway we'll see what happens till next time go on these the inner pharaoh let's get it you can next around now say the same thing they chasing the fame they all want the name